Woo! That was me waking up and being ready for the You video. had to like reboot or yeah, something that was like dumb. that? That was dumb. Whatever, it, but... it was very dumb. Yeah. Uh, you have had hot heads before, mm -hmm. and they make unbelievably tasty sauces. So I'm very, very excited about these. I'm finally making it through their entire lineup, and these are the last three sauces that they make. Uh, and they're, he's given me, he has sent me some sauces that they don't make. We've done these recently, haven't we? Uh, somewhat recently. Mm -hmm. Like it, different, different sauces, though. Mm -hmm. um, this one, Scoville Scale, is extremely hot. Mm -hmm. I've been. I've been told it's extremely special, so we're going to be trying it last. I'm very excited for it. Um, we also have we have Peach Cobbler, which is not going to be in Andy Schrock's uh, wheelhouse, generally speaking, but there's room to impress. Wheelhouse? Yeah, sure. I've wheelhouse. heard that, but I've never actually thought about that. What does that mean? It's like, uh, not like down necessarily down your alley. Well, yeah, right, never, never mind. I'm you just like, where, where did that come from, you know? Like, there's I a... I don't know. Side thought. I have no idea. So we have Scoble Scale, we have Peach Cobbler. I'm very excited about Peach Cobbler. And then we have Hawaiian Express, which is a Fresno and pineapple. Spoiler, this is going to be extremely mild. I haven't read the ingredients oh, I'm yet, ready it should, the, it I'm should ready be. for the taste. So we're going from very mild to extremely not mild. I mean, two, two pretty milds, right? Oh, um, kind of. I, don't, I haven't read the ingredients. Peach I don't know cobbler. exactly. Peach cobbler, so habanero, but there might be something more in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways. This is his, uh, so it's, again, love sauces that have their freaking heat scales on it. Two out of five. Two out of five. Mild, all natural, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All natural ingredients are pineapple, white vinegar, onions, orange bell peppers, Fresno peppers, habanero, garlic, salt, sugar, and olive oil. Ooh, there's olive oil in this. Love of salt with olive oil. Means the, uh, the, the consistency will be nice. Hot sauce. Not for you, but for us, I will never understand what that means. Uh, <laughs> using the freshest <laughs> ingredients, creating unique recipes and amazing flavors that we love. Uh, let's start the Hot Heads Rebellion. The Hot Heads Rebellion. So, so, so. I feel like a lot of people in life, they just say things because it sounds cool, which is not that I don't do that in some areas. Um, the sauce, is, there's this like special like uh, aroma that comes from sauces that have all, olive oil in it. Like You can like smell the creaminess and smell the like uh, boom, boom. the emulsification that's happening in there. Emulsification. Um, I smell sweetness. Where's the sweetness? Where are onions or something? Okay, the, pine duh, the pineapple. Uh, but the pineapple and the onion, like it, it's mixing together. It's more, it's more oniony than pineapple. It, uh, it's a, it's, it's a good scent. Mm -hmm. And the the bell peppers. Is there, yes, is that, I, you can smell the bell peppers. Orange bell peppers. There are huge That's chunks of them in here. Which, spoiler alert, I've said this before to you. Orange bell peppers are like the on those like little veggie trays, if, or if somebody prepares vegetables and dip. Like orange bell peppers. Yes. Are the MVP. Yes, they are. They're so good. All right. It smells so good. I'm so ready. Don't put this in your face. Yeah, go. It's good. Mmm, pineapple -y. Tart. Is this like a lemon juice or something in here? Where is that? What's happening? At what point do people like that make good sauces say like, we should make this into a soup? Because a lot of them are like, just, you know what I'm saying? You say that so often. But, but it's the thing, it's like, it's like I wouldn't, I'm, I'm imagining what I put this on. It's like, it's like, it tasted good, but I wouldn't put it on anything. I would. I would I would eat it though. This is going on. This is a taco sauce for me. Like, no pineapple specifically is yeah. so good on char. Anything with like any protein with char yeah. on it. Um, I I love pineapple on tacos. I would do this all day, every day. I will say 100%. you could put that like put it all over a salmon. It would pretty good. It'd be good on salmon. Yeah. I will say that he is absolutely full of crap when he says <laughs> that it's a two out of five on the heat scale. <laughs> um, this is far less. It's like a negative two out of five. Um, I'm, I'm going to say that this is closer to a one. I say this in It cooled my mouth down. I'm joking when I say, when I say that. Um, it's, just, it's a very, very mild sauce. And there's nothing wrong with that in any way, shape, or form. Um, I didn't taste, like, there are things that are, like, some may, this is spicy, and I'll have it, and I'm like, yeah, I can't taste any spice. And I could not taste any spice. I don't dictate almost any spice at all. Yeah, and sometimes there are mellow things that I'm like, I can see how your mouth mm -hmm. would perceive this, and... Nothing with that. This is an extremely like juicy sauce. Like the pineapple is so pineapple-y. I was like, there is lemon or lime juice in here, like backing up that flavor profile, but there's not. Um, the pineapple is incredibly fr in the forefront of yeah. it, and I personally love it like that. And the orange bell peppers help it out with the sweetness and the onion, fantastic. The olive oil not, in here, just it's beautiful. It's not overbearing, and maybe the olive oil helps keep that keep that down, like mm -hmm. the the sweetness. But it's like a very pleasant, like a subtle sweetness. Yeah. Um, for me, like. This is, this, this, I mean, I'm eating a lot of rice right now, and I'm so... This is the style of sauce that's going... I'm, half a bottle is gone in 
Two two servings, it's, it's gone. Like, two hey, lunches, and this is gonna be gone. This will be gone in two days. I feel like the more I use sauces over the years, like the more I, they just like the bottles just go so fast. So fast. It's a, a bummer. Like that will be literally will be gone yeah. in two days. That's why you get the really hot stuff. You just use a few dots for your meal, and it's like the greatest thing ever because you have it forever. But then you're not getting the the flavor. Of yeah. Much, well, you know? there's so there's. It's tough. Well, you can't. You got to hit one bird with a lot of stones. This one's a three out of five. It's peach cobbler. It better. I hope it tastes like peach cobbler. It freaking looks like peach cobbler. Look at the color of that. It's got this like orangey brown kind of color to it. it sounds looks, gnarly, it, but it's it's. A, I mean that in a good way. You know, it's been a while, but you know when you go to like breakfast spots like IHOP and stuff, and they have like like every color jam for you, like yes. with your toast. Mm -hmm. Uh, that looks like that would be one of them. Yeah, it does. It looks like yeah. an apricot jam or something yeah. like that. All right. All natural ingredients. White vinegar, peaches. Peaches are number two. Orange bell peppers, again. Awesome. Sweet onions, orange habanero peppers, sugar, salt, cinnamon, ground clove, citric acid, and nutmeg. So this is going to taste like peach cobbler. And I really hope it does. Or it should. It would should. you order a peach cobbler? I would always go like blueberry or blackberry. I generally go like cobblers. I'm gonna go blueberry, blackberry, apple, things like that. Peach cobbler, honestly, is gonna be one of the last ones yeah. that I'm gonna get. But that doesn't mean ooh. I I can still appreciate a good peach situation. Wow, it smells. It, it, it's it's like a like a like an aroma shotgun coming out of the top of the bottle. Yeah, I don't but it's not like, smell peaches. It's not what I expected. Neither me me either. <laughs> Neither me. Neither me. I like that better. <laughs> me either. There's something weird in this, There's dude. There's something going on. It um, it smells like a, like a certain like seasonal item. Oh, it's the um, dude. It's like the cloves. Yeah, I was gonna the, say it's like a, it's like a wintergreen smell or dude, something. It's the in cloves. It. It's very heavy on clove. Okay. All right. Let's, let's see what happens. Put this in our face. Interesting. There's a little bit of a vinegar tang that happens first, and then close. It doesn't taste like this color. This like, doesn't taste like I thought it was going to at all. No. Um, but in that aspect, I think it's better than I thought it was going to be because I thought I was going to get some like just like desserty thing. It has, actually has really good flavor, but it's very specific and unique. See, I thought it was going to be extremely like jammy and dessert right, flavor. Yeah. That's what I was expecting it to be. I didn't and want it's not. That, um, you're getting the vinegar. The vinegar is treated right, um, and then you're getting like. I'm not getting a ton of peaches, honestly. Dude. I'm getting a huge amount of like the like the the, the clove nutmeg situation that, happening. That's that has to be it. I'll say okay. He's saying three out of five on the heat scale. Um, it's a little bit warmer than the first one, but still, I'm like I'd say I'm like, a, like a, a one or a two. A, a one out of ten. Yeah. You say two out of five. That's forty I'm percent. I, I'm still saying out of ten. My scale is oh okay. is ten well, regardless of what they say their right. heat scale because that's well, it's definitely not three out of five. Which would be six out of ten. Okay, we're, we're talking about. We're, I'm gonna make a whole video arguing you on this. Dude, there's no argument. It's just it's just simple math. I understand what the math is, but they have a separation between what their scale is and mm -hmm. what your scale. Your scale never changes. Mm -hmm. A one out of ten. Their scale. Each company's scale is different. Yeah. You know, two out of five, or one to five, one to ten, or something like right, that. Right, but I'm just saying yours out of ten. They're they're saying if they're applying it to your scale, they're saying that that's a six out of ten. I guess sixty percent. It'd be like, sorry, I'd say like, all right, uh, my kickflips today. My kickflips are a one out of ten. Like that's my my scale ever. I was like, yeah, it's like what a, a three out of ten of kickflips that I possibly can do. If you go to a skate park where they're like, this is a a three out of five difficulty to skate, and you do a kickflip in it, and then it doesn't make that your well, your no, kickflip becomes like a six out of ten kickflip or something. I'm just breaking it down to simple math. I understand numbers. what I'm understand what you're doing. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Argument aside, we're moving on. All right, this is Scoble Scale. Um, this one is, I'm very highly anticipating the sauce. This one is going to be ripping hot. Is it going to be? Because after the last two, I'm like not expecting, I don't. I can't trust their 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 pepper time. Load the scale, load the spoon then. No, I'm not going to load it because <laughs> you've wrecked me a few times. I have, time. and I can tell by like the oils that I see from the peppers just like sticking to the inside of the neck of the bottle that this is going to be a very hot sauce. Um, the, a lot of the, this whole world exists outside of these videos, by the way. He walked in, he walked into my office all the time with things. You brought the tincture for the first time yesterday. I didn't want to put it on my hand, but you just d did it anyway. Mm -hmm. I washed my hands and still, like when I got done skating, my whole face was burning because I like had wiped sweat and the residue. This is a product that I'm, I'm working on. I hope it's coming soon. Oh, I teased uh, it right there? Yeah. 
I'm just saying, dude. You like you are walking around this building, just <laughs> giving people hot things all the time. Yeah. And it's like there's a, there's much more than the, than this little window you guys see. This is a five out of five. This is uh, Scoville Scale. It's a seven pot and Trinidad Scorpion sauce, and it is going to be very hot. All natural ingredients are seven pot and Trinidad peppers. Those are the number one ingredients. Apple cider, vinegar, uh, sweet onion, red bell peppers, fresh garlic, uh, carrot, sugar, lime juice, salt, tomato paste, and olive oil. Um, so it's a celebratory exclamation that means that you can just consume something. Uh, Scoville Scale. So celebratory exclamation means you just cons you consume something with both incredibly tasty and extremely hot. It's um, what you'll say when you try this Hotheads remix of a traditional Belizean recipe. I've actually had, I've done a video on two Belizean different hot sauces and um, they are going. They were far more mild than this, but I love the style of sauce, and it's kind of hard to explain what the, it is. I don't think I've ever heard that. Um, it's got like a, there's like a. It's all about like the heat and the vinegar, and um, uh, I guess like the bell peppers. I want to say there's like a sweetness to it. That's okay. like vinegar and sweet, but and it and that, this comes from Belize. It's a, the style of sauce, yes. right? It's like yes. in their culture. Yes, like, yes. Okay. Um, smelling it, it's not going to taste like that. It's going to taste like peppers because I well it What's probably. That? Smell that sauce. Trinidad. Well, I'll get it on my, my guy first. Oh, it smells extremely pepper Oh, forward. it's light, lighter than I thought it was going to be. And I'm not doing a lot. I have a lot of work to get done today. I have smelled a lot of sauces that smell exactly like this. Are you saying the peppers are the only thing you can smell? I smell, it's a very, very pepper forward sauce. Yeah. So I'm going to do about that much of it, which is... It does smell amount. hostile. Hostile. I, I'm picking up tomato from from here, so that makes me happy. I smell peppery time. I at, at first, oh yeah, more, way more tomato. I'm getting yeah. garlic too. Like I, at first, it, from the, coming out of the nose of the bottle, all I can smell is peppers. Now that it's on the spoon, I'm getting way more tomato, way more garlic. So this means that hopefully it's not going to be like, it's not going to be as insane as I thought. We'll see. Cheers. Cheers. The consistency. Whoa, of that's tomato. hot. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, I gets you. Ooh, that is a spiky guy. I'm gonna ride not a bad flavor, flavor for something really hot, though. The flavor... It's just very tomato-y. The flavor changes immediately. Like, okay. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah, that's... Uh, you think this is like... I think this is all in your mouth, though. Not, I'm not even getting my throat. Are you? I'm trying to collect myself right now. I'm kind of process what just happened. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow. That is a hot, 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 hot Do they even sauce. bother putting a scale on it? Five out of five. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little more than the three out of five. It's like a different world. <laughs> it's like a whole different it's world. a different world hot. Um, <clears throat> wow. So, um, I would say, I would say a, a very pepper forward sauce. Whatever it touches, it's it's b stabbing your your like, it comes into contact and it burns. It burns exactly it's, like a seven pot, <laughs> um, which I is just know. that might be aggravating it, but it's like getting more intense now for me. Yeah, it's is um, it for you. Yeah, seven pot. <laughs> the seven pot pepper, um, it's like a sleeper. It takes a while to hit, and it continues to grow and grow and grow, and that's what it's doing. Like it is still rising. It's ramping, yeah. It is ramping. Um, so you get that insane pepper forward flavor. And then immediately, it's weird. Like the heat comes, like you're, it hits you so fast, and then it goes away for a second. Yeah. And then I get that. like and then I get like the tomato and the garlic and the rest of the flavor, which is just beautiful. And then the seven pot and the Trinidad score and the Trinidad peppers, like, they just start to slowly, slowly climb back up. And then just Wowzers! <clears throat> it's a thing. <clears throat> um, it like dominates your mouth. Yeah. All right. Um, out of ten, what are you sitting at? Remember, this let's is do it out of fifteen. No, <laughs> we're doing it out of ten. This is a scale that never changes, by the way. All right. Uh, <clears throat> I would say seven. I'm, okay. I'm a six. 
Well, it just means that we're, you know. The comments have complained that I'm always one under Andy, but. But it's, well, maybe you should go first. I know, I, I try to, I don't want to, in, I, I do that because I don't want to influence your decision making. That's why I let you go first. But, right, I was in We my should mind, write was, them down. I was sitting in a six before I said it, I promise people. That'd be a fun thing on your channel. We could just write them down and then reveal it. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. We'll do that. Um, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's a very, very hot sauce. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, three very unique, very tasty sauces. This wine express is going to be gone immediately. This I like is it. such a delicious, delicious, yeah, juicy, favorite. emulsified, amazing sauce. <clears throat> this was a shocker to me. I thought this was going to be a little bit more like like jammy, morch peach cobbler-y going on, but it's like it's more it's subtle just, in those just, notes. It's Garrett's car in two thousand six. <laughs> it's a, it's an it's an interesting one for sure. Um, and uh, Scoville scale definitely lived up to everything I thought it was going to. It's an extremely hot. extremely hot sauce. Um, it's a special sauce. It's hard to make. Uh, sauces this hot and still maintain flavor, and this still maintains the flavor. So, bravo! Wow. Okay. Uh, in the description below is gonna be linked to Hotheads. So if these are sauces that interest you. You can grab them, and also a link to Andy Knives Gaming Channel. This video comes out on Sunday, Sa Andy. Sunday. We got Raft and Hello Neighbor, Neighbor yeah. that are coming out this weekend. So I think. Um, we have videos coming out. We got videos. The channel's been doing fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoy. Regardless, see you guys in the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to—oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.